this inner wall or inner sanctuary was built 1100 years after the wall on the outside. goes all the way to Karnak in the distance and is 2.65 kilometers long and in the day had 2,400 statues only now is there are 79 of them remaining. Alexander the Great's Katush and script drawings of him. This inner wall or inner sanctuary was built 1100 years after the wall on the outside. And he built a sanctuary inside the sanctuary, which is this section here. Very hot. What's the temperature? So this is a mosque inside the Luxor temple itself in the courtyard. Originally the sand was right up to the top of the brickwork that you can see and the temple is actually underneath. That's why they actually built the mosque. Uh, and it's still a working mosque today. This is a model of Karnak Temple, it's the largest religious site in the world, 2,300 years to make it, apparently. We're at Karnak Temple in Luxor, it's very hot, and these are the guardians and their rams. how big these uh, columns are. This place is just the column area is the size of the Notre Dame in Francais. that was built for the king. He died before it was finished, but if you walk around it, it's good luck. And we've done our three laps, so hoping we win God Lotto.
Okay, we have arrived in the Steigenberger Hotel Luxor and we're going to give you a room tour. And there's Chicken Head. Come immediately to the right and there's the bathroom with the toilet. A little kitchenette area with some cups of tea into the main bed area. And we have a balcony that looks onto the Nile. There's Chicken Head swinging on the swing. Watching the Nile and watching the sunset. These are some of the tools they used to actually um, measure angles and making sure things were straight. And that was the wood that they used to put inside in between the, um, the bricks or the uh, large pieces of stone with the patushas in it. It was a, like a numbering system for them. This is a piece from a chariot. You can see all the inscriptions and that on the outside, and they're actually even on the inside as well. There's heaps of inscriptions. Some musical instruments that they used to use a harp and some flutes. These are some of the uh, instruments they used to use. Um, during the mummification process with hooks, tools, etc. There's a prosthetic toe that was found. And here's some uh, scissors and forceps, etc. used in the uh, process when the females used to give birth. And these stones were used as part of a weighing process. The smaller stones were like a gram and then obviously they had their system that used to increase in weight so they could do uh, you know trading according to weight. Some statue found in Luxor from the uh, Greco-Roman period. Coins used as currency and they are all um, silver even though gold was worth more now. Back in the day gold was pretty much worth nothing and silver was what was worth everything. So that's what their currency was. This was found inside part of a dome which depicts a picture of the Virgin Mary with uh, Christ on her lap. It was found in the 6th to 7th, or it was made in the 6th to 7th century AD. Here's some of the tools they used to use for um, astronomy and in particular mapping where the stars were in our sky. This one's called uh, Astrolab. That was what they used to put on the camels to carry dignitaries around. Traditional Bedouin outfits and that was the jewelry they used to wear. Luxor and we're staying at the 
Steigenberger Cairo, uh, essentially in the downtown area. And this is the room, so we're in the entrance. Coming to the bathroom. Toilet. Come around there, shaking it. That's the main bed, and there's a bit of a seating area. And then it looks out onto the main square and towards the Nile. Not quite as high as we would have liked. However, the room's still relatively clean, so it's all good.